Hey, Dave Chang here. We're at Major Doma Studios. I'm with the great Monica of Beverly Sundu. So it's Beverly Soft Tofu, how it translates. Um, I've been a huge fan of your restaurant. And now you have blessed everybody with your new book, Sonmat, which basically like translates to tasting handmade. You are making a dish that I love. I, I can't wait to learn how you make it because you're like the goat of sundubu, so soft tofu, Korean stew, and uh, I'm going to have you and your daughters show everybody how to make this. I'm only going to be here later to eat all of your food. Okay, I'm happy to. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start. So I'm going to make a four oh. Kimchi beef sundubu, uh, the spicy level is spicy. Mm -hmm. So uh, first, I cut it, you know, the meat, galbi meat, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, very uh, small, small piece, pieces, like a chop. And uh, I have to put it... Uh, We're gonna season it, right? Seasoning, yeah. pretty, pretty seasoning. Okay, and kalbi so is, is short rib. Short rib. Yeah. And you can find that at Korean markets. And, yeah. And also uh, use salt and blended garlic, garlic. and mm -hmm. sesame seeds. Sesame That's seeds. It. Okay. Sesame seeds or oh, sesame, sesame oil? oil. Sesame Sorry. oil. Okay. <laughs> okay. So just a little bit. Yeah. And the blended garlic recipe is in the cookbook. Cookbook. Yeah. Like one teaspoon. Okay. And then this one uses this like a make all shape and then mix well. So this is just marinating the meat before we put it in the sundubu, right, mom? Yes. So, so it gives it more gives flavor. more flavor. And why do you use short rib or kalbi trimmings? Uh, taste is, you know, like a more uh, beef. Mm. And how I said, anyway, taste. It's very, tasty. very tasty. <laughs> okay. I cannot use, uh, you know, other kind like, yeah. uh, you know, chalk roll or whatever. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's but, ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay. So five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. And then uh, I make uh, kimchi, napa, cabbage, and kimchi. And, and you chopped it up. It, it's yeah. a little bit um, ripe, right? Mom? Ripe. It's, you don't want to use... I don't want to use kimchi. a fresh yeah. kimchi because mm -hmm. uh, no taste, yeah. like just like a, a napa cabbage taste. So this one, ripe, mm -hmm. is more kimchi taste. Yeah. So it has to be ripe. Okay. Are you going to season this too, mom? No, no? I don't you, have to. Okay, so we're just going to leave it. Just leave it. Okay. And Okay, so this is ready. And don't squeeze. Okay. So you want the juice? Yeah, I want a juice too. So just combine with the... Uh, hot paste. Okay. okay. So what's next? Next, uh, just put. We're gonna make, uh, make a one, one, maybe two, two, two or one. Yeah, we can make two, and then you should show off, mom. You can okay. make more than one. I think you can. <laughs> at one point, I think you made like twelve or sixteen in a row at the restaurant. I think most of the cooks did. I think eight at a time, and she's just yeah, showing off. I do so. the. I do. I did the twelve. Okay, twelve. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should we turn on the fire, mom? Yes. Okay. So I do whenever uh, 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 the customer coming, I turn on the gas. I don't want to make, you know, ready. Right. Yeah. And this is beef bone broth. Beef bone broth. Okay. And do you make your own? Yes. Okay. And what's a mixture of what kind beef. of bones? Uh, the galbi bone. Yeah. And? And uh, uh, the knee bone, right? Knee. Yeah. No, I don't. Usually, uh, before I use the knee bone too, but uh, not uh, wasting time. Mm. And uh, the galbi bone is more tasty, like more texture. I think in our book yeah. it says knee bone too. Yeah, knee bone too, you can use yeah. too. We use yeah. both, both. Right? Yeah. Yeah. in our broth. And how long does it take to make beef, beef bone broth? It's Your recipe. Like 12 hours. Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's, it's a galbi bone, labor of love. Yeah. Really. Yes. Kalbi bone is uh, less than. Mm -hmm. But these it's days, there's a lot of store-made yeah. um, beef bone broths that are yeah. just as good. Yeah. yeah. Or you could buy them also from restaurants. Just the the broth. Oh, big spoon. I the need big the big spoon over there. This okay. 
Okay, first, uh, you know, I put it a uh, little bit of the broth. Yeah. Okay, and then you're adding meat. Adding meat. So if you like uh, more meat, just put in more meat. Mm -hmm. This is like a quarter cup. Quarter cup. And kimchi. Kimchi. Same amount. Mm -hmm. So usually when you're cooking at the restaurant, the, the heat used to be a lot hotter than this, right, Mom? Yes, but of course. It's, uh, it's a little bit less than what you're yes. used to at the restaurant. How, much, how many days did it take you to get the kimchi ripe? Oh, depends on the weather. Mm. The summertime, maybe two days. Winter time, maybe four days. You leave it outside? Just outside, mm -hmm. like a uh, room temperature. So when is a uh, bubble air coming and taste it, that's fine. Okay, so we have to wait for this yeah. to boil, right, mom? And uh, I'm gonna make uh, today spicy. Yeah. So So what is this, mom? This is uh, uh, my own hot paste season. Mm -hmm. Hot paste. We said tadegi. Mm -hmm. So this is a very important. It's kind of my secret, <laughs> but I open it hundred percent. Yeah, you opened up your recipe. <laughs> yeah, my, you shared your recipe. Yeah, share the re recipe because uh, you know a lot of my customer they miss sundubu, so they can make at home. So it's easy. So uh, just to hot paste like uh, one tablespoon or a little bit more. Depends on you like. So one tablespoon is medium? Medium. Okay, and what if you want it spicier? Just a little bit of the hot paste and jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we add the jalapeno now? Yes. Okay. So you could also Sorry. tell that one burner is definitely Stronger, stronger than the other, than the other one. one. Yeah. So you want to make sure I just, uh, you'll switch. switch. It. Yeah. Okay. Because this is not like the restaurant. Okay. And, so. and uh, don't forget garlic, branded garlic. Garlic is import, very important. Mm -hmm. And this blended garlic, mom, you always make a lot, right? And yes. you keep it in your fridge. It is. Yeah. I make a Every time a lot, and I give it. <laughs> it doesn't go bad, so yeah, it, even, it'll stay yeah, in the even, fridge. Yeah, even even uh, I close my restaurant, I'm still buying the five gallon of the soy sauce and hot paste. <laughs> like uh, yeah, yeah, it's it used to like thirty four years. So, like when I go to the market, if I see the pon uh, ponytail, like uh, first. Oh, uh, just to buy a small amount. Yeah. And it's good, buy the box. Yeah. <laughs> and then all day, you know, I'm working. <laughs> no. We'll I'm, get a phone call from my mom, our mom, and she'll say, do you have room in your fridge? And we just know that she bought something. whatever it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I make, you know, the maybe four, three to four hour, and then uh, put it the zip zip lock bag. And then I call to my uh, sister-in-law, my sister, Everybody. <laughs> and my two daughters. I don't have a room, just get it. Yeah. And my friend sometimes. Mm -hmm. No, she'll say, oh, I only bought a little bit. And then we'll say, how much? And she's just 40 pounds of chili pepper. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay, so this one's boiling a little boiling bit more faster. Yeah, okay. So are you gonna uh, switch it? Yeah. Okay. Switch. And these, um, these tools are super helpful because otherwise I think if you're using oven mitts, it's going to get all yeah. red from the, yeah. the pepper paste and they have those and at the... this one is very good. Before they don't have it, very small, you know. So sometimes, you know, we got the bone finger but, and this one also, you know, uh, adjustable. Okay. So big one, small one coming because too hot, that's why, yeah. you know. There's a couple of references in the cookbook of like kitchen supply stores that we like in Koreatown and it's I'm sure cheaper. they have it. Yeah. Okay, so how do we know the soup is ready 
like what's next are you adding the tofu next uh this is not done yet mm -hmm. how not, do you know that enough you know mm -hmm. uh i can see the jalapeno color uh -huh. is still green okay so okay. a little bit you know so uh, my restaurant the gas is very strong mm -hmm. uh, the kimchi if uh, customer order kimchi it takes about 15 minutes yeah another one is like 12 to 10 to 12 minutes because you want the kimchi to cook yes. through, right yeah so whenever you go tofu restaurant it's coming within five minutes it's not boil individual mm. it has to be you know 10 to 15 minutes and your restaurant was famous because people were able to customize and you made one each to each order to order so this that's not the same in korea yeah, right no. right korea is on, on, only one, one kind. Kind. no choice yeah. just to eat it yeah. <laughs> order eat it no complaints so almost is it almost ready yes yeah and then what else this one <laughs> Okay, uh, when you go to the Korean market, they have a tube, sundubu soft, extra soft tube. So I used to use this, uh, you know, uh, for the show mm -hmm. or event. Uh, just cut it half. Because sometimes, you know, this one is very hard to cut it. Mm -hmm. And then just to, you know, break everything. So it doesn't, uh, you know, taste like a sundubu. So, so you're just gonna cut it cut in half? It half. Okay. Oops. She um, was making her own tofu at the restaurant for about six, seven years, and then it was just too much for her to make it at the restaurant, and she gave away the recipe to a local tofu company that now uses it to distribute everywhere for other tofu restaurants. So, um, yeah. So the recipe <laughs> is not a secret. Yes. So it is time to put the tofu. tofu. Okay. So just cut it not. Thin, mm -hmm. like a little bit, you know, half an inch, and then uh, don't put it uh, all of them mm -hmm. because it's gonna be burned bottom of the uh, pot, mm -hmm. and just a stir, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna add more add oil. more broth, broth like a uh, one tablespoon, and stir. So, so you don't really want to break up the tofu. No. Yeah. And it's boiled half of a, or, More. Four, or a quarter. Okay. Just put it this. Maybe I use later. The other parts are boiling. Um, so you know that the kimchi color too has changed. So whether or not it's meat or different vegetables, it's pretty cooked down. So you know that's when it's ready to add the tofu. You just add it almost at the end um, in two parts, one half, Put in a little bit more broth or whatever you like to adjust in the other half of the tofu. So you get your value in the entire portion of the tofu going in. So you're gonna add more, more tofu? tofu. Okay. So this is the other half. and stir and just put one tablespoon of uh, broth so that's why you know uh, I have to attention you know for the uh, pot mm -hmm. so prevent more burning burning mm -hmm. so if you don't want it spicy or hot you can also do a white Sundubu. Yes. So that without has no the, tadeki. Yeah, no, without the uh, uh, hot paste. Okay. And then if you didn't want to use beef broth and you're a vegan, vegan is, you can uh, use... We can, we can use uh, vegetable broth or just the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Smell good. And mom, how often did you make kimchi? Oh, restaurant? I during the restaurant or yeah oh every day okay every day uh 170 pounds of uh, young uh, i mean the uh, napa cabbage and radish is a uh, 50 pound box okay 
Well, she makes, she still makes kimchi in that portion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we I end up giving it. away to friends and family and stuff. Mm. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, and smells good too. Mm -hmm. So a home cook too, we can just keep rotating the burners just to make sure it stays boiling. Yeah. Yeah. If you make uh, more than one. Okay. Maybe people start off making one at a time. Yeah. yeah. To practice. Because I think we need to practice too. So just to steer like this. So mm -hmm. you're not breaking up the tofu. Yeah. Okay. So when it's bubbling, you know, all of the pot, it's ready. Center, uh, the, mm -hmm. you know, like a steer like this mm -hmm. and then center too. Yeah. So that it's not sticking to the bottom yeah. or burning. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. burn. We have to throw away the trash. <laughs> taste, you know, the burning taste, not the tsundubu taste. Yeah. My mom says we should pay attention like we're watching a one-year-old baby yes. with something like this. You can't turn your head away or not pay attention. Yes. So I always tell to cook helper. Yeah. Don't think about the, your husband or, you know, your family, you know, <laughs> forget it. Just attention. Yeah. Attention, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have uh, four eyes <laughs> on the back. Okay, so we have to wait for this to boil. Yeah, boil the The middle has middle. to have yeah. the bubbles, right? So that's yeah. when you know it's, it's done. It's ready for the you know, side. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I have to wait. And okay. uh, if the greasy, you know. Like the oil, the oil excess oil. Just uh, take it out. Mm -hmm. So it, it will be more clean taste. Are you a fan of breaking the egg in the sundubu or no? Here? No, I mean when you eat the sundubu yourself, oh, do I you use egg? I don't eat the egg with the sundubu because okay. I cannot has, taste the you know, tofu. Yeah. What's the yeah. best way to eat it if you do have the egg in there? Do you break up the yellow part, the yolk? No, or? just leave it. Mm -hmm. Just uh, hide, you know, inside. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be, you know, the half cook. It's, so it's not, uh, you know, the mix with the tofu. Mm -hmm. So uh, ju I just recommend to people not break. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's almost like a poached egg and you have it with the hot rice. Yes. Oh. So sundubu, uh, eat with the side dish. Or uh, and also the rice, I recommend white rice is best. Mm -hmm. it's more, you can feel more taste. So it's almost done. And then in the restaurant, you serve this with a couple of panchans. Yes, panchan. What kind of panchans did you uh, use? And soybean why? sprout and uh, sweet tangy cucumber. Mm -hmm and reddish kimchi we said the gaktugi mm -hmm. and uh, uh, braised the uh, red potato like uh, with soy sauce and uh, also oh not matched, kimchi yeah and the matchstick radish, radishes yeah, right? radish. yeah. and uh, we serve appetizer for the tofu with the uh, uh, soy sauce with a little bit of the mixed vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's the all, recipe. Yeah, and it's all in the cookbook. She shared all the recipes of all the the side dishes. Yeah. I'm the first one in uh, uh, Sundubu specialty restaurant in K-Town. Mm -hmm. And anyway, you know the menu? Uh, if I put it the 10 menu for the divide, but uh, we can make uh, like 100 recipe. You can put whatever you want it. You can put, you know, squid, you can put shrimp, you can put oyster only. That's your menu. Mm -hmm. Your recipe too. Yeah. yeah so I, think, I think my mom likes to use what she has in the kitchen, uh, you know, in the kitchen already um, to make it convenient. And I mean, my, mom, you've always been a really good cook, like just uh, for all the Korean food that you make. So yeah. people said that you are a good cook when you were younger, right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, like when I was uh, junior school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I teach it how to make, you know, for if, uh, you know, the friends coming like 10, more than 10 people, I just uh, prepare and then how to make it. It's a lot of, you know, 
my friends and relatives, they want to, you know, learn how mm -hmm. to make, you know. But I, I always open the recipe, not secret. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. I think it was important that she made her own tofu, she made her own beef broth, and that tadegi is really just the heart and soul of, you know, the sundubu. So, you know, she didn't want to make any compromises, and I think over the years, yeah. Some of the stuff reminded her of being in Korea, like the squid and soybean sprout tofu and other things. I think she just thought this would be a really good combination. And I think it was just trial and error. And, you know, you can't really go wrong with kimchi and beef or kimchi and pork. It's just delicious all the way around. And if you're making your own kimchi and, and you know, you use really good beef and there's already good beef broth and tadegi and tofu, it's, it's going to be good. So, so is it almost ready? ready? Yeah. How do you know it's ready? Yeah, bubbling. The center, in the middle. The center middle. is bubbling. Yeah. Okay. okay. And just uh, before the serving, just put one time and put the chopped onion, like this much. Green onion. Green onion. Oh, I got it. And then serve with the egg. Would you like to put egg inside? Sure. <laughs> okay. So just uh, exercise one hand. Fancy. <laughs> I'm going to have to use two hands for that mom. Very hard. <laughs> so whenever I hire the new waitress, I have to, ex you know, uh, let them exercise. Practice. Yeah, practice. Yeah, you could tell from the restaurant how the servers, how old they've been at the restaurant because they're just, they probably yeah. could do with no hands because they were there yeah. so long. So just okay. to steer. Yeah, so mom, you, you usually want to stir it as when the... Yeah, hide it. Yeah, when the egg is egg, it's broken be, in. Yeah. So just use the broth, use the broth right, to hide then, it, yeah, hide okay, it. like that. And this one, okay. Did you put the sesame oil? Yeah. I how about some green onion? Green onion. Yeah. Okay. And this one too. Like this. Mm -hmm. Cut it. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I use a lot of you know the egg mm -hmm. when they. <laughs> so it's yeah. so hot that so the hot. egg will cook. Cook right. Slowly yeah. cook yeah. with the rice. Yep. Hot white rice mm -hmm. and just a spoon like this guy mm -hmm. just to eat it one bite put on the rice yeah. and then eat it yeah. it's too hot but <laughs> you it's, know it's good yeah no. just yeah. to wait you know so you're saying it's okay to right do this with the tofu but a lot of people will just wait blow on it right <laughs> For real, right? Yes. But you're going to be blowing on it for a long time. Maybe like 20 minutes. <laughs> Just the one spoon. Oh, too hot. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Just with, with the rice. Just put it like this. And mix it like, just like bibimbap. But I want to... Oh, more. I, w I feel like if I'm eating your food or a really good jiggy, I have to like... No rice first. Oh. Rice after. This is how most people would eat it, right? Mm. With the side dishes. Delicious. It's funny, we were answering a question on the podcast, and for some reason, because everyone's watching Korean TV mm -hmm. on Netflix, a lot of the cooking shows, they said they noticed that the Korean spoons are a different shape. Mm -hmm. And I, I never noticed that because this is more of a Western, this is a Western style spoon, but a Korean spoon would be longer mm -hmm. and, and then, flatter. Uh, flatter and then round. I like round. Round. Yeah. Um, and not the heavy one. And the reason is you're always digging in to hot soups and stews. Right. And we're the, one of the few Asian cultures where you're not eating with chopsticks and bringing the rice to your mouth. Um, you're putting it on your bowl of rice like mm -hmm. this. Right. And mix. 
Delicious. Good? It's so good. <laughs> Would you make it spicy just put, putting that more of that or kochukaru? No. I just put a little bit more and then more jalapeno. Oh. Um, don't mind me while I eat your food. <laughs> I mean, I'm so happy that I'm eating this. One of my favorite things to eat. I'm happy to <laughs> you eat, you know. All right, guys. Well, I don't think you guys want to turn this into a mukbang. I'm happy to do so. But in the meantime, I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys okay. for showing us how to make this delicious food. And uh, so excited that you have it all in your cookbook. Um, but I'm just going to eat this right now. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.